Hi. So in this series of functions in logo, today we are going to learn about product function. And yes, we want to display the result. So we'll use this function along with print command. So the syntax will be print, then product, and then it will take two numbers as it is. So if I give a command like print product space 20 space 3, it should multiply 20 by 3 and display the result in recall list window, right? So if I execute, yes, it prints the result over here. The result is 60. So if you want to give two variables to product command, you can directly give them, right? But you have to give minimum two parameters to this function. Otherwise, it will give error. Suppose if I delete three, now our command has become print product 20. And if I execute it now, it says not enough inputs to product. So it should be at least two parameters. But what if you want to give more than two parameters? Yes, like sum, we have to enclose the function inside the parenthesis along with its parameters. So if I give command like this, it should multiply. 20 multiplied by 3 is 60 and 60 multiplied by 6 should be 360. Right? So let's execute. Yes. The result displayed over here is 360. Right? So this is the product function in which you have to give minimum two variables or two values as parameters. Yes, of course, you can give more than two values also. But in that case, you have to enclose the name of the function along with its parameters inside parenthesis. Right? So this is the syntax of using product function. And yes, as sum in this also, you can give expressions as one of the parameters. Like if I write 4 multiplied by 5 in place of 20, and the third parameter I'm going to change to 6 plus 2. Right? Yes. And now let's see what it gives as a result. So if I execute it, it prints 480. So what is happening here? Here, this product function is taking 1, 2 and 3 parameters. First parameter is 4 multiplied by 5, that is 20. Second parameter is 3 and fourth parameter is 6 plus 2, 8. Right? So it becomes 20 multiplied by 3, which is 60 and 60 multiplied by 8. 8, 6 is 48 and then 1, 0, that is 480. Right? So in place of parameters, in the product function, you can write expressions. It will calculate the value of expression and pass the calculated value of the expression as parameter, right? And this function can also be used along with label command. So I have noted it down again in command line. And now let me change this print to label. And now if I execute, it prints the result in the logo main screen right let me hide the turtle yes but it prints vertically and if you want to print the result horizontally what you have to do yes you have to turn the turtle towards its right by 90 degree and let me reset and then if i execute this label command it should print the result horizontally right so if i execute it oh it's not doing oh this is because we have pressed reset button which has cleaned the window and brought the turtle to its home position. So I think we have to give RT command once again. Yes, it displays. So to print the result horizontally, you have to make the head of the turtle pointing towards right. Okay. So this was all about product function. And yes, in next few videos, we are going to learn about difference, quotient, remainder, and we have a video over some function also, right? So, bye-bye.